How's it going guys? Welcome to episode 2 of our table build. In today's episode, we'll be going through and learning how to seal the table and give it our first coat of paint. Okay guys, so as mentioned earlier, we will be going through and learning how to seal the table. This is actually very important. If you are in a humid climate like I am, the MDF may swell and bow and expand and create all kinds of problems. So we're gonna seal the table and give it its first coat of paint. Stay tuned. Right, a couple of bits and pieces we need is some PVA, some black house paint, and a little tray with a roller. That's the first part, perfect. Okay, so I've just gone over the table once with the roller. We're going to go around all the little corner bits now with just a normal paintbrush. So uh, you've got to mix the PVA and the paint together around 50-50. The paint gives it the colour, obviously, and the PVA is actually what seals it shut. It's great once we finish this stage. So the table actually starts to look a bit more like a table. Start to see how it's starting to look a bit more like roads and streets, things like that. After the next stage, it'll really start to pop. I always like to give a table a second coat just in case. Don't want to miss anything, like as you can see around the edges of those boards, the uh, MDF does soak it up a bit, so it's good to go around once or twice to make sure it gets sealed completely, otherwise the moisture will get in there and you'll start getting a puffy table in about a year or so from now. You don't have to necessarily use black paint. I um, just use black paint because I find it's a good base when you're doing concrete. You're doing like a forest table, some of that, a nice brown would work. You were doing some other kind of table. Just got to work out what the terrain will be like. I've stuck the fan there to try and get it all to dry out quickly so I can get the next step, which is using the granite effect paint. This stuff gives the table a bit more of a textury, marbly look. I don't normally spray inside, but we've had a bit of rain here over the last few weeks. And um, painting outside's not really the best option when you've got MDF and moisture. Just trying to make sure we go all over the table with this texture stuff. Uh, this actual paint kind of once it dries, you can sort of rub your hand across it and it feels real lumpy. It's perfect for like a concretey sort of feel. Also, you don't have to fear, none of those models in the background suffered from any overspray poisoning. Everything is still absolutely amazing. We want to get this texture paint on as much as we can. Don't actually need to get it onto the road part itself because we are going to texture that. It'll look like bitumen. Uh, but the main part is to try and get on top of those services. Now because we're going to have a double sided table, sometimes because this stuff actually sticks up, it may scratch off. Just have to be real careful. I've uh, got some bad news too. I actually have already scratched it off. Whoops. But well, it looks great either way. So uh, now we're going to go over it with a bit of black. Uh, the kind of speckly look, it doesn't really look natural. So what we're going to do now is try and get some um, a bit more of a concrete foundation look going. 
That was, that was some black paint. So uh, just like before, it's not super important if we get it on or off the road. When we actually put the road texture down, you'll see like we we will be re-gluing and putting more black down beforehand, and then the road base itself will cover a lot of it. So you really won't see any of that, but I do like to sort of just keep everything looking a bit more flush as I go along. All right, so we want to get a couple of different colors here. This is to just sort of signify each of the different sort of sections on the table. Uh, it'll make each kind of corner block have its own sort of character. It won't be super obvious, but I think with the eye, you'll just sort of know. So when you're actually playing games, it'll just, it'll just feel a bit better. The only real way to see it properly is when the table's finished with some terrain on it. You have to stay tuned for that one. When we actually paint it on, we're not trying to get too much of the yellow on there. We kind of just want to dust it a little bit. You'll get a little, little bit of yellow, but you still see some of the black and the greys through it. We'll be going over it after this as well with a bit more of a grey, but you'll still see these through it. So if you look at our blocks now, you can sort of distinctly see there's purple, a brown, a couple of yellows on the ends, nice green. Each sort of has their own sort of feeling, their own little bit of turf, doing its own thing. All right, so now we're going to go over it with a grey. We still want to see our other colours underneath. So this will be the kind of concrete look. So if you see there, you can still see the purple under it, but it definitely looks more grey now. We'll go over it with another lighter colour after this in a sec, and you'll see it come through a little bit more. Yeah, still got that little orangey browny tint under that one. Yellow one still distinctively have that bit of a yellow touch to them. Green one also. Just sort of go over it nice and quick. Not too much paint on there. Perfect. All right, so for the next coat above the grey we just did, I actually use some Mechanica Standard Grey, and that's because my tanks are based off that, so on the board I want them to look like they've blended in a little bit. Maybe a little bit biased. Sneakily camouflage my own tanks on the table. Meh. Alrighty, nearly there. One more colour to go. I'm going to go over the top with an ivory colour. That's our final paint colour. After we get through this step, we'll then go on to doing the roads, but that'll be in the next episode. Once the road bases go on, we'll do a little bit of scattery, kind of broken, concretey, powdery stuff across the top of the table too, just over the foundations we'll use that to cover up our screws just so they don't pop up and look ugly and uh, when that gets on that actually really starts to look like a really wicked table that's not where it ends that's really just the beginning till next time hey guys thanks for watching the episode make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get to see the next episode